it's just so weird seeing my old office, you know? It's like when you drive by the house you grew up in and there's another family in there and all you want to do is break in and make yourself soup, you know that feeling? Well, it depends on the soup. Psst, mushroom barley. Then no. Hey, did you get him that apology gift I told you to get him? Except instead of scotch, I got us two front row tickets to the ballet. Oh. Well, it's a thought that counts. Lewis, can I help you with something? Yes. You and me. We, uh, got off on the wrong foot. Words were said, hurtful caricatures were drawn, and I did some bad things, too. Water under the bridge, Lewis. Well, no, not to me. See, um, I once was told that actions have consequences, and I want to turn things around by inviting you to the American Ballet Company's production of Giselle. The ballet? Yeah, you and me, tonight. Wow. Louis, I would love to go to the ballet with you. I really would. But I have Knicks tickets tonight, man, and I, I, I never miss a game. All right. I'm going to let it go that you're choosing basketball over uh, Giselle. But I really need to make this up to you, Jeff. I, I can't be in the red. I am always, always in the black. And I don't mean that in a racial sense. Well, now that you mention it, I could really use some advice. About a case? About Jessica. I just pulled Adam Greaves, his opposing counsel. Long story short, he hates me. And I could really use Jessica's help to run some interference, but I'm the new guy. It's only my second case, and I don't know what to do. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get you front row tickets to Jessica Pearson's help. Louis, I got your memo. And if you want to get an antique diving bell for your new office, it's on your dime. OK, that's bullshit, but whatever. Um, I'm here about Jeff Malone. I'm not the principal. You two are going to have to work your shit out on the playground. But you see, that's just it. We already did. Something's not right. Why are you here? I'm here because you need to run interference. I thought you just said you worked it out. No, not with me. With Adam Greaves at the SEC, he has it in for Malone. Lewis. I'm glad you two are going to be walking to school together from now on. But I hired Jeff Malone to handle the SEC, not to get me to handle them for him. You know, you're always telling me not to make enemies. And for the first time since Harvey, I have just made a new friend. So I'm asking you, please do it for my friend. Lewis. If you won't do it for him, please do it for me. I just had a very interesting chat with Lewis Lip. Lewis is a very interesting guy. Did you know he's never eaten an olive? I did not, but I do know you fed him some bullshit. That doesn't sound like me. Really? Because he thinks we need to work together because there's bad blood between you and Adam Greaves. I don't like to talk about it. Of course not, because you and Adam Greaves play basketball every Wednesday. What happens on the court, Jessica, stays on the court. And I thought I was clear about boundaries. Well, listen, if that's really how you feel, why don't you just tell Lewis that you want to bow out because you don't trust yourself around me? Yeah, I didn't think so. See you tomorrow. Hey, you ready to get down to business? Yes, I am. Good. I was thinking that maybe we could do all this over lunch. It's 10.30. There's a lot to discuss, Jessica. No, there isn't. We need to bury them in paperwork. No, we don't. We just need to come up with a legitimate reason why Brooks made that trade. There is no legitimate reason. I didn't say there needs to be one, Jessica. I said we need to find one. You are taking to defense like a fish to water. Well, you didn't bring me in here just for my genetically superior bone structure, did you? Mm, no, that's what I brought him in for. Hey, sorry I'm late. I was just getting up to speed. You brought Lewis in. Of course. Three heads are better than two, unless you have an objection. No. Are you kidding me? I would never turn down a threesome. Right, buddy? I hear you. Good. Because Jessica and I were just having a little difference of opinion about what to do next. Yes, and I'm sure Lewis, the man that I hired, the man who owes his very career to me, will see things my way. Well, I don't want to step on anyone's toes. Oh, Lewis, you're not stepping on anyone's toes here. Mm -hmm. And to be fair, I think you're an amazing attorney who doesn't owe anyone anything. Ooh, do you work out? <laughs> well, you, know, I, you know, I try to stay fit. Try. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Can we get to the point? 
Lou, Lewis, Jeff and I have two different approaches to this case. Exactly. Go for the knockout punch or bore them to death. Oh, well, you frame it that way. I can't believe you're using that old debate team trick. Farm boy strong. That's what you are. Jessica, what debate team trick? Calling my approach bore them to death and yours a knockout punch. And you're really good at this. So you, have you done this before? Sure have. Look, Jessica, you can make assumptions about how this farm boy is going to come down on this all you want to, but I think we all pretty much know he's playing on my team. Jeff, you're right. You are right, and in fact, I think that because you and Lewis see eye to eye on this case, that you should work together, and I should bow out. You actually think that bothers me? Because now I've got this farm boy all to myself, Jess. Just you and me, cowboy. It's like Ernie and Bert. Jeff Malone is in love with me. What? I was just in a meeting with him, and he started off by patting my shoulder. He's a jock, Lewis. That's just how they are. No. He was then rubbing my shoulders, then he touched my arm. He's all over me. Wow, what was that meeting about? It doesn't matter, Donna. His arguments are loaded with double meaning. Who invokes the penal code in an SEC case? He said penal? Three times. The third time, we were just talking about the Glass-Steagall Act, which is purely civil. And it's, God damn it, woman, do I have to draw you a map? I mean, come to think of it. Athletes coming out is all the rage now. And guess what his favorite sport is? Basket, ball. Oh my God. Shut the front door. No, I'm gonna shut the back door. Okay, Lewis. Now that we've firmly established his gayness, why would he think you're gay? I mean, you're straight as an arrow. I may have said that I eat cock for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What? But it was a different kind of cock, Don. I okay, wasn't. Lewis. What exactly do you want from me? I want you to tell me what I should do about it. I'm gonna tell you exactly what you're gonna do about it. Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? I mean, don't give him anything back. He'll get the message, it'll pass. <laughs> Donna, I don't think you understand the power of my sexuality. What are you doing? Oh, you know, it's just a little something for your file. I have a file? That information's classified. Wait, why? It's in your file. Hey, Lewis. You have a minute? Oh, it's about all I have, because I'm uh, super, super busy. Yeah, well, listen, I just wanted to check in and see if you're ready to pull an all-nighter. I just got all the brokerage tapes in, and I figured we could just grind it out. Tonight? Tonight. Unless you want to go right now and just pound it out all at once. OK, that's it. I mean, you have got this all wrong. Jeff, I like you as a friend. Right, Lewis. I like you too, I think I've made that perfectly clear. Too clear, man. Too clear. I mean, enough with the come-ons already. What? Yeah, I mean I, I mean, I get it. You know, we're a perfect match. You know, if you go that way, ebony and ivory, but I play a different instrument, so. Oh, Lewis, no. Look, I I, it's, look it's just that I, I just don't, I don't want there to be, you know, just awkwardness, especially since Jessica just bowed out and it's just me and you now. Right. Well, now that you've seen right through me, Lewis, I, I am disappointed. Are you going to be OK? To be honest, I'm feeling a little raw right now. Oh, sh I'm sorry. Maybe it's best if you just told Jessica that she needs to step back in. Yes. Yeah. Can do. <laughs> yeah.